Pros know a thing or two about how to get the toughest messes clean. That's why they've long trusted cleaning products from Ecolab for their businesses. And now, that level of clean is available for your home at the Home Depot. Introducing Ecolab Scientific Clean, a full line of pro-grade cleaning products for all your home's needs. So you can clean like you mean business. Now available exclusively at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. With one of the best savings rates in America, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Slash to be in your band. Next up for lead guitar. You're in. Cool. (laughs) Yep, even easier than that. And with no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. Thank you for joining us for another Club Business on CannabisRia.com. Uh, really glad to have all of you on and joining us. And my next guest, quite familiar to Cannabis Ria listeners. We had them on Blunt Business. We've had them on various shows across the network. And, you know, every time we are at a conference or at a networking event, we always get to run into the folks at Paybotic. So for those of you very familiar, but we have had a real good comprehensive look at what the company provides. We've talked about it, but nothing where we have the opportunity like we have today. So this company we've been featuring a number of times, and they are the premier payment solutions company that excels in tailoring solutions to the cannabis industry. And I am... Honored and grateful to go and have on the co-founder and CEO of Paybotic, Evelyn Dang, here on the program. Evelyn, I know we've been working on this interview for a while, and, and I know the logistics can ever only work so well, so we, we're glad that we could finally put this together and have you on with us. Thank you for the op- opportunity, and thank you for having me on with you guys today. I appreciate that. So we're going to make this pretty simple for everyone out there. We're going to just go ahead and we're going to provide the information, understand how Paybotic works so well, in the business because we've also known Paybotic for a number of years. So we're happy to go and put this together and let's get a full understanding. Now, Paybotic specializes in advanced technological solutions for payment processing, providing financial solutions to help cannabis businesses in the United States throughout the nation grow and succeed. And there's a service list I want to go ahead and make aware to the audience for dispensaries, growers, processors, and other businesses and the cannabis sector, they can partner with Paybotic for the following. For debit processing, merchant cash advance, recruiting, accounting and bookkeeping services, and cannabis and hemp business insurance. So if you can, go ahead and briefly just go ahead and talk to me about these solutions I mentioned, Evelyn, and how your team has been able to deliver such a wide range of services. Sure, thank you. At Paybotic, we set ourselves apart from the other fintech companies and payment processing companies because we get into the space very early on. We get in, we got into the cannabis space when the industry was still very much um, state bound in Colorado, and then we expanded our services by growing with the merchants and with the industry. Paybotic has years on record servicing uninterrupted payment processing to a number of our clients in all of the legal states in the United in the United States. And what we do is that we offer not just this the payment solutions that our merchants need, we also have multiple discussions with them. We keep engaging with the with our merchants, hearing about their pain points, how we can help grow their business with them. And from there we created other banking and financial services products that would help our merchants address the pain points and grow their business. And a number of those solutions, um, just like you mentioned, we have here is debit processing, we have ACH processing, check processing, gift card and loyalty programs, we have financing programs, we have financial services, insurance, bookkeeping, and accounting. All of those services, we didn't just come up with those overnight. What happened was that as we worked with our merchants and as we supported our merchants throughout all of the process, we heard about all of those things from the merchants. And then we started offering those to the merchants as part of our 
there is suite of payment processing and financial services. Now, this the whole thing about all of the solutions that we offer as a suite of service, the research and the development and also the ongoing customer support has been part of our DNA ever since. My business partner and I started this company. And customer support is at the core of our operations. When our team members walk into the office every day, what they get reminded of is that today, let's make it a better day for all of our merchants. And how can we create, continue creating an ecosystem of financial support for cannabis merchants and continue being the advocate for, the, for this industry? I still remember the first time I got to meet your team at Paybot. And I remember, we had a, I don't think I had any chance to go and, uh, to learn, but it was the first time I got, and it was an interview I did with your team there, with your partner, that your business partner came in to do this. And I still remember how fascinated I was with the fact that, you know, even now today, there hasn't been much of a change in the ability for cannabis businesses to go ahead and find services, you know, in the mainstream sector for banks or for lending companies or various payment, uh, you know, offerings. They're not available to cannabis businesses. Even today, you know, five years after I went ahead and got a chance to meet with Paybotic, and we're still in the same situation. So it's just, it's fascinating to see where we are here. And leads me to my next question about the fact that the, they're still in the cannabis industry. We have the issue of a lack of financing and payment processing programs available. We're still waiting for federal relief. And I have said this on previous programs, federal legalization, three to five years. Don't even think about it right now. It's not on the, it's not on the table. We're not looking for Washington, D.C. to get have something to be done right away. The Safe Banking Act, we are hoping. But I still think it's another year to three years. I don't know. They did make the attempt in the lame duck session in 2022. They did, obviously, lawmakers, various lawmakers have been very adamant and vocal, and we appreciate them trying to make the effort. But until we get actual relief, companies like Paybotic are going to, they're going to lead the call. So with that said, we're waiting for the legal barriers that are continuing to create difficulty for dispensaries to obtain services, record sales, process payments, hinder the growth of many marijuana dispensaries. And all you have to do is look at, you know, we had the issue with California, uh, the crisis that was going on there. There have been a number of issues where we see that what could be done to curb the issues. But now, until then, Paybotic is here to cover all the bases that any large or small cannabis business could need right now. So talk to me about what Paybotic is doing right now to give that relief when there is nothing from the government or and any other entities right now. Sure. Paybotic entered the cannabis market early, and we often say to ourselves, we know the cannabis market because we grew up with the market. Our first client was in Colorado when Colorado first legalized um, cannabis. And then we moved to other states and we continue growing with the industry. Everything that we got from the industry, yes, it was the knowledge, but it was also the hands-on approach that we have. We wanted to understand the pain points of emergence. So we, we didn't just listen to the emergence. We also really did study and also be out there in the field and connecting with emergents and trying to understand like from an operational perspective, from a financial, from an accounting perspective and legal perspective as well and compliance perspective. What are the challenges? So that we can come back home, sit down, continuing our research, our R&D programs in the back end to continue developing and also enhancing the current technology platform we have and, and why we put in together with new compliant technology features that will allow our merchants to address all of the pain points that I just mentioned. Now, the one thing about Paybotic is that we are able to cover all of the bases for any large and small cannabis merchants in the industry at the moment is because we understand the market. We understand what the merchants need versus approaching the market as in simply providing services. 
all of the services that we offer are from the evolution of our customer support, ongoing customer support. That's how we got the inspiration. Paybotic ensures that no merchant is left behind with this ever-changing space, which we know this is a very dynamic space. Today may be something tomorrow. When you wake up, it could be something different. With regulations, with operation controls, all of that. We continue assessing the needs of our cannabis merchants, and we commit ourselves to make sure that our cannabis merchants, they are able to run their stores uninterrupted. We want to make sure we take it upon ourselves that the, if our merchants have any issues or in, have any trouble with payment processing, financial services, or anything along the line, it's not just that our merchants are not generating revenue. It doesn't just hurt our merchants, it hurt us as well. And by putting ourselves in that capacity, we grow with the merchant and we get through everything with the merchant. And as we get through all of those, the one good thing is that we continue adding on more talented professionals that are in several domains, not just payment processing, but in banking, financial services, insurance, accounting, bookkeeping, risk assessment. We do all of that to make sure that our merchants have, um, whenever they just need, like, you know, to talk about any of those things, they would have a conversation with us and they're comfortable having such conversations. I'll give you an example. In a, bun in a bunch of our financial services application, part of the requirements and the due diligence is insurance policies. The merchants would need to have their insurance policies in place and depending on the type of license that they have, certain types of insurance policies will apply. The merchants will need to have those policies in place before they can utilize our service. And we know that sometimes getting that, the very custom specific cannabis related insurance policies could be a struggle and it's challenging for merchants, which is why we have an insurance agency that can cover those needs. And as our financial services expert or payment experts talk to the merchants about their, their needs for those services, we bring in our insurance people that can have like can, that can leverage on those discussions and work with the merchants on putting together the policies that will not just help them with really it's not about helping the merchants to advance their other financial services obligations with us but really to help the merchants having the right tools insurance related to run their business and to stay compliant. In the words of Norma Vitz Appeal, find a need and fill it. And that is what Paybotic has been doing for years. And I can, say, I can say for myself, the continuing evolution of what needs to be given for businesses to go and grow and thrive and what Paybotic is able to go and provide to do that, making payments simple, offering so many different solutions uh, from uh, different processing, uh, e-checks, gift cards, merchant cash advances, levels of cannabis banking and business insurance, so much more. The website, while we go to commercial break, I would recommend to go and take a look at right now, paybotic.com, P-A-Y-B-O-T-I-C.com. And you go to the website, you're going to see right off the bat, you get a chance to go and get yourself an, a free ebook download on how to bank your cannabis business. You can go and do that right now. As we go to commercial break, I'm here again with the co-founder and CEO of Paybotic, Evelyn Dang here on Blunt Business, back with more questions after this. Rolling into some sponsors, but we'll be right back with more Blunt Business. Welcome back to Blunt Business. I'm here with Evelyn Dang, the co-founder and CEO of Paybotic. And before the break, we talked about the wide range of solutions available to any size company. Now, there's a lot of companies that need your help. A scale that your team is able to work with cannabis businesses of all sizes and sectors. Doesn't matter the size. Cultivators, transporters, retailers, single store locations, the multi state operators, and publicly traded companies. So there has been any company that wants to come to you, you've been able to go and answer the call to them. You've been able to go and take them on. You have the resources, the wherewithal to do that. So, Evelyn, how is it that Paybotic can stand out from some of your competition, delivering the wide level support? to, to an uh, endless variety of size businesses. Thank you. 
first off, really what, the reason why we're able to deliver such a wide level of services, products, solutions, and also customer support is because we keep our head down and focus on what we do best. We know what the industry and the merchants in this industry need from us. And we also know what we do best. So we focus on doing a good job for our merchants because that's how we can advocate for our fellow cannabis businesses. Second thing, we're not just interested in a one-off solution. There are companies out there that can provide merchant services only or insurance only or banking solutions only. And that's strictly a business direction and decision. Um, for us, what we have identified from all of the interactions with our merchants and from growing up with this industry is that the merchants rely on companies like Paybotic for not just getting the services, but for conversations, discussions, and for sometimes like your know, brainstorming discussions so that they can talk about or they can have like, you know, a solution or a direction for their business pain points or business concerns. So that's why we offer an entire line of banking and financial services. And we call it our financial ecosystem. The merchant, our merchants can use one solution within our financial ecosystem, or they can benefit from all of the services that we offer within our financial ecosystem. It is all up to them and it's a business decision and we respect that. And in fact, we often tell our merchants that they will do what they think is best for the business. We're not putting pressure on them. We're here if they need to talk, if they need to have a discussion, if they need materials or resources about any of the th the financial services. And if we have any of those things, we're happy to send them their way. Another thing is that we stand behind all of our solutions. We never distribute any solutions to the market if our solutions haven't been road tested by a number of merchants, putting through variations of testing, retesting, user acceptance, test testing, penetration, testing, all sort of things. And obviously, most importantly, compliance. We have to pass the test of our in- Wendy's two for $6 lets you mix and match some of our best items, like... Dave Single with a 10-piece crispy nugs. Medium strawberry lemonade with a spicy chicken sandwich. Spicy chicken with a Dave Single. Dave Single with a strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. If you're into that. Chicken Sam, crispy nugs. Crispy nugs, strawberry lemonade. Dave's, Dave's, nugs, nugs, Sam, Sam. Whew. Pick what you want at a price you want. <clears throat> Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's two for six. For a limited time, price and participation may vary. In U.S. Wendy's on the card only. Single item at regular price. Did you know that yearly Medicaid renewals will start again soon? This means millions of people who were enrolled in Medicaid during the pandemic may no longer be eligible for coverage. If this may impact you, the good news is you have options. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help answer your questions so you can find an affordable health plan for you and your family. We want you to feel confident you're covered. Click to learn more. Policy exclusions and limitations apply. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield is the trade name of Community Insurance Company. Pros know a thing or two about how to get the toughest messes clean. That's why they've long trusted cleaning products from Ecolab for their businesses. And now that level of clean is available for your home at the Home Depot. Introducing Ecolab Scientific Clean, a full line of pro-grade cleaning products for all your home's needs. So you can clean like you mean business. Now available exclusively at the Home Depot. How doers get more done health compliance and also external auditing agencies for all of those solutions. We understand that we are in a high re highly regulated industry and we're also in an industry that has restricted and limited access to banking and financial services. Our, all, our sole focus is on not just on the so a solution or solutions that work, but it's got to be scalable and sustainable. That's why we take compliance very seriously. And we know that in order to help our merchants navigate through all of the challenges with regulations and with 
any discrepancies between state laws and federal laws when it comes to cannabis, our solutions need to be a sustainable and scalable solution, which is why we are very, very strict and very coherent with our compliance um, platform, and we make sure that anything that we put out there, we're able to stand behind them. Go ahead and move into the area of how Paybotic is a fintech company and how important cannabis and fintech are. They're crucial to each other for business. And it's been said in some professional uh, publications that I've read through paraphrasing that fintech solutions for the cannabis industry have proliferated as the legally emerging fastest growing industry in the nation, but it still has barriers to traditional marketing. An immense value remains untapped as legal markets expand, cannabis becomes mainstream. Fintech, fintech providers can win big while providing millions of entrepreneurs with the merchant processing services that they need if they can bring their solutions to market before federal legalization brings the card networks into the game. We've had various stories on Blood Business about you know, card solutions coming in, gift cards. Everybody has their various areas of relief they're trying to give now, what they're able to do. Some banks are trying to do what they can, uh, you know, Unions, bank unions, as they're out there, they're trying to do what they can. But there's really, in the fintech space, it's a matter of finding a company that's very comprehensive that can cover everything. You don't want to go ahead and try to outsource to all these different companies. We can go to one company that has everything. As you said, Evelyn, you stand by all the solutions you provide. And you, your team has worked on all this. You have the customer base that is, you know, is a proven record of customer service and be able to go ahead and handle all tasks, big or small, and however the size of need that they have as a business, whether it's a small craft cannabis space or an MSO. So now, Paybotic has been leading the way as an innovator in the fintech space. Do you feel like what your team has created so far has done enough to establish your foothold in the cannabis industry for the future? no matter what changes. Absolutely. We have the team and the resource it takes to continue being on top of what we do and being the resources that our emergence and our future emergence can rely on for anything that has to do with banking, financial services, payment processing, insurance, bookkeeping, you name it. And it has to go, it has to be with number one, the people. The people that we have, here's what I believe. You can put all of the top systems in place, and I'm talking about technology platforms. Yes, we do have that, but that's just half the battle because at the end of the day, you can have all of the security controls, the compliance controls, information security, all of that in place. Coming from the platform as a measurement and as a way for ongoing monitoring processes. But that's only the platforms doing the job. The people operating the platform, they have to always have the right mindset. They have to always put compliance, security, scalability, and sustainability of our margins and the solutions that we offer to our margins for us. That is the kind of mindset that we have and the team here that's the best quality that we have and we also believe that in a space where you have fintechs entering a highly regulated space with all of innovate innovative technologies it's great and it helps the industry but at the end of the day it all boils down to the operations and the ongoing compliance and how you monitor all of that that's what keeps any solution sustainable our team, we also believe in one thing. We believe that this is the space that if we do not cannibalize our own products and solutions, we'll never, can, we'll never be in a leading position. So that's why we have a team in the back end that continue working on all of the innovate, innovative technologies and so that we keep bringing to the market compliant technology solutions that can help the merchants with all of their needs and also importantly, 
what we see at this point in the industry is that there are a lot of technologies, there are a lot of solutions, but they, there still remain some fragmentation here. Solutions are not talking to each other. They work as standalone solutions, and that is the nature of a new industry like the cannabis space with limited access to banking and financial services. There's nothing wrong with it. This how, that's how the industry grows. But we take it upon ourselves to also provide services to the merchants that can help bridge all of the gaps and can help address the fragmentation issues with solutions in general in the space. We're going to go to the commercial break. When we come back, I'm going to be joined once again with the co-founder and CEO of Paybotic, Evelyn Dang here on Bump Business. And we'll continue to talk more about what is here about the outlook for cannabis and baking in 2023. And most importantly, we're going to give you the chance to hear that call to action. You are listening to this program because you're interested in where we are right now in the space when it comes to finding baking services, because it always is going to peer the ears of those listening in this audience. And we're here to go and really hit over the head and have a focus, a spotlight on what Paybotic is doing right now for com companies like yours. We're going to come back and talk more about it. In the meantime, again, the website is paybotic.com. P-A-Y-B-O-T-I-C dot com. Check out the website as we go to break. Rolling into some sponsors, but we'll be right back with more Blunt Business. Let's do some final questions with Evelyn Dane, the co-founder and CEO of Paybotic here on Blunt Business. And Evelyn, thank you again for making so much time to go and talk to us about Paybotic and getting a good understanding of the role in the fintech space, the services provided, just going through and realizing the importance of having a company that's able to go ahead and take care of all the comprehensive details. One stop. That's the plan on this. And what I want to go ahead and do now is ask you about, you know, we made it clear, pretty clear in the last couple of segments about how Paybatic is one of the largest payment processing solution providers for highest risk merchants in the United States. And you're specializing in helping cannabis and other high risk industry businesses process consumer payments, or customer payments, excuse me, and maintain compliance amid evolving regulations. So again, not just cannabis, but we're focusing on that today. But now we look at the cannabis banking issues that are going on. There's There are always headlines out. I'm looking at just a couple of them right now. Oh, you know, cash-based businesses, large cash-based economy, vulnerable to various issues, theft, fraud, criminal activities. We need to see the Safe Banking Act pass. We need to see Big reform that comes in, there's only so many options. You know, everybody has their own issues that are, where we're, that constant, you know, there's a need of a call to action, but Paybotic is there. Now, what well, can you tell me about what you think about the outlook for cannabis and banking in 2023, which again, I don't see what other support we're going to get from any other outside sources. So in the meantime, Paybotic will fit that how the how does Paybot I expect to fit that outlook? Sure. So we had hoped to see progress from federal regulators in the form of banking reform. However, that did not come to fruition in twenty twenty two. Without any change to federal banking laws, cannabis transactions will continue to be done heavily in cash. And we all know that that presents a lot of risks and concerns for this community. This scenario is a disappointment. But I believe that everyone in the industry, we're growing the industry and it's growing, it's growing actually like crazy because we see something in this industry. And from a financial service perspective, we're seeing innovation solutions arriving as the need for federal reform looms overhead. Also, the one thing that I would want to stress is that at the moment, we are seeing a lot of fintech and payment processing and banking solutions for focusing on the retail side of the house. But let's not forget that there's still tremendous need for other types of licensed cannabis entities. And I'm really talking about those that are involved in B2B transactions, the cultivators, the processors, manufacturers, wholesalers, distributors, those entities, those businesses, also have tremendous need for banking and financial services too. And that's where we come in. 
also Paybotic focuses on assisting tier two marijuana related businesses, those that sell to licensed cannabis entities. Those tier two MRBs, they do not necessarily touch the plant, but they are guilty by association. And they also need the help from companies like us. And that's where we come in and can help them grow their business. As I just mentioned, various banking, financial services, and payment processing methods are becoming available and with more expected to come along in 2023. These solutions can help ease the merging pain points while providing the industry with financial sustainability and longevity solutions. However, as the market sees an overwhelming number of solutions like those, the business owners should thoroughly evaluate their business needs, options, and possible outcomes, as well as customer adoption before they go forward with any of those solutions. That would be something that is important as solu- all of those solutions work, but there's got to be a solution that best fits the needs of each business. And that's what I would advise business owners, whether they are a cultivator or a retailer, to look at their own needs, options, and possible outcomes when they think about what solutions that they are going to go with. Now, despite the continued growth of the financial services for the cannabis industry, it does remain evident that the banking, financial, and payment products currently being offered to the cannabis space are quite fragmented, as I mentioned. In a sense, this is in a sense that there's no true financial ecosystem for merchants to take advantage of. If the merchant wants to get insurance, they're going to have to go to an insurance agency or a company that specializes in this. There's no ecosystem that allows the merchants to see all of their business needs, financial needs, banking and payment processing, comprehensively, and Paybotic is here to provide that for the merchant. This is a challenging but very exciting project that we've all been working on, and there are more to come in the summer of this year. So let's go ahead and wrap things up. Listeners, by now, I mean, we've made the point clear that cannabis business owners, decision makers, They always have an interest in one or several of your full suite of modern payment processing services. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's go ahead and pass along how they can contact Paybotic. Listeners, first of all, there is a phone number. Phone number is 1-844-420-4729. I'll give it one more time. 844-420-4729. Website is paybotic.com, P-A-Y-B-O-T-I-C.com. And now that the listeners know that, Evelyn, if you want to just take a quick minute or so to talk to our listeners about what steps they should have ready when they want to go ahead and call you and call your team at Paybotic for help. The only thing that they should be ready is to be ready to have a conversation with us and share with us what struggles they have, what are their pain points, what is it that they're looking to accomplish, and how can we help. We're here to listen we're not here to give them any advice first because we do not believe that any of our advice or any of our solutions will be good for them until we know what it is that the merchants are looking for. So I would say we welcome conversations and let's talk. Fantastic. So again, paybotic.com, go there. And as we said before, just earlier in the show, I mentioned it was an ebook download, How to Make Your Can of Business. You can also hit the Apply Now button and get yourself started with Paybotic today. As I said, always happy to have Paybotic here on the program. And Evelyn, I appreciate you taking time out. As we said, we've been, it was almost a year trying to get this all put together, but I'm glad we finally got you together. Our, our, the schedules finally crossed and we had the chance to go ahead and put this connection together. Thank you so much for taking time out. Really appreciate you joining us and I hope we get you back in very soon. Likewise, thank you for the opportunity and I hope to see you and the audience very soon. I definitely want to do that. And listeners, thanks again for listening as we always do. Subscribe where you ever find podcasts. Obviously, CanvasRadio.com is where you find the show initially. And thanks again. If there's any comments, questions, or if you have 
anyone you think we should be recommending, you want to recommend to me to have on the program, email me directly, brasco at cannabisria.com, B-R-A-S-C-O at cannabisria.com. And we'll talk to you next time. The opinions expressed on this CannabisRadio.com program are those of the guests and hosts and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff and management of CannabisRadio.com. Any rebroadcast, republication, or retransmission of this program without proper consent is prohibited. Pros know a thing or two about how to get the toughest messes clean. That's why they've long trusted cleaning products from Ecolab for their businesses. And now, that level of clean is available for your home at The Home Depot. Introducing Ecolab Scientific Clean, a full line of pro-grade cleaning products for all your home's needs. So you can clean like you mean business. Now available exclusively at The Home Depot. How doers get more done. Welcome to BreezeLine, where the sky's the limit thanks to better internet. With lightning fast speeds up to one gig, you can game like a boss. Stream like a pro and watch like there's no tomorrow. Stream, watch, post, send, and trend. Do it all with our fiber-powered network bringing you reliable, fast internet. Welcome to BreezeLine. Visit BreezeLine.com for latest offers. Service subject to availability. New customers in select areas only. Visit BreezeLine.com for details.